Hi, good morning. I'm Vasudev Dasari from HPE. I wrote a unit test debugging tool last year. It is in the OS tree already. I just wanted to present here in this lightning talk so you can take a look at it, use it if not already. So let's get started. Anyone who has developed a feature in OES would have gone through this process. Basically, we write a code, write a unit test, and then test it out. Under OES, there's so many flavors of test tweets to cater for different platform needs. Some are categorized by feature set, some are library tests, etc. For example, MakeCheck is a basic suite which tests out almost every part of OBS. System user space test suite will go through a suite of tests which cover the test in OBS user space where packets are injected into OBS suites through network namespaces, etc. Similarly, KMOD, DPDK, and so on and so forth, different um, test suites. I have a test suite that is failing here. I'm sure this is a common display you might have seen when a test fails. It will highlight name of the test that failed. Here it is, tunnel genu options present. Test number, which is 768, and line number where it failed in the test script. Say you want to fix this test case. First step is to go to the test suite directory where all artifact artifacts are located. We can take a look at test suite.log vcc.log or osdb server.log, etc. to look at what's wrong with the system. We might want to reconstruct the setup to recreate the problem. To do that, we need to understand the setup and what is being done there. Then we need to correlate with the problem instance with the vcc.log. Just in case if the log is not present or if it's not turned on, you might want to redo the test with logs enabled. Rather, it is possible that you might want to get some information by executing some other apptl command, just that it's not part of the test suite. As you can see, test suite, test framework, tears down the setup on completion. As setup is torn down, there's no easy way to examine the setup in the failed state. Like, I might want to examine the switch, uh, examine the switch, uh, other, uh, other OS components, what they were doing, or what the state uh, they are in when the problem occurred. Also, as the setup is torn down, there's no easy way to GDB, to run GDB in the failed state. What if there's an option to pause this test as soon as, we, as soon as the failure is seen by the testing framework and let us examine the setup? The utility added just does that. A new environment variable called OVS pause test is added. When the variable is turned on and the test state test case is run, testing framework will pause the execution of the test. This can be done in either of the following ways, via make check as shown here, or <clears throat> via make run command. If doing by run command, you may need to go to the directory and then execute it from there as shown here. Once the test pauses on failure, you can go to another window and then run another uh, and, and set another <coughs> environment variable always run there to point to the test suite directory. And after that, we can execute the switch by running OVS commands, any OVS commands. Once done with the examination, we can go back to the main window and then press enter to unpause the test and clean it up. <coughs> so here's a screenshot of, of uh, how it looks like. <coughs> As you can see, <clears throat> at the end of the framework, gives you instructions to follow to examine the live setup. Once done examining, you need to come back to this window here to unpause the test. And here is another window where we run the run the command. You can pretty much do whatever you were to do on a live switch at this point. In this screenshot, we first we set the OS render variable to point to the test case directory, and then we can see, as you can see, we can run OS off cuttle dump flows command or OS vs cuttle show command to uh, dump the bridge information, or we can do OS app cuttle commands 
here is dumping the list of tunnels present. Not only the OS commands, you can run GDB as well here as shown. Here, if you want to use this command, it's assumed that the OS which is the one uh, being tested is, the, is, is in your path already. If any network namespace are created as part of the path for the test, they'll be intact. You can run commands on them. As you can see here, you can run ping command from the namespace to inject packet into OVS. Another thing, another thing you can do is um, using OVS app cuttle command, you can perform packet trace operation through OVS packet processing pipeline. All the commands I shown here, might you might be knowing them already. Not to bore you with this, but the point I wanted to make is debugging on a live on a failed live system is priceless, and this utility can enable that. This screenshot shows once the uh, once you unpause the test, testing framework resumes and cleans up the test environment for next steps. In summary, I found that this tool to be very useful during my feature development. It gives a fast and easy iterative development cycle. As such, OSS build environment is very fast. This improves the development process a bit further by possibly reducing the iterations needed during the development cycle. This also aids in making test-driven development a breeze. We can write test case of what we want to achieve from the feature we are developing for the feature we are developing. And then iterate over the development and testing. Of course, it all depends on what you are developing and which modules are being touched, etc. Document for this utility is located in the link below. Also, please let me know if you have any comments or on the utility or um, any more ideas and enhancements that can be done to make it even better. Thank you. Uh, now I want to uh, welcome uh, Vasu to uh, answer uh, live questions in Q&A. Uh, if you like, you can submit your questions through the Q&A panel. I don't see any yet, so I'm just going to uh, take this a uh, couple of minutes to talk to Vasu myself. So uh, one of the things that this talk uh, reminds me of is how everyone has a different uh, approach to uh, to debugging. Um, does does this tool sort of reflect uh, your your own uh, preferred approach? Actually, I started this one, as I mentioned, right, like a uh, couple of, uh, uh, when I was trying to debug one of the problems, I could not figure out how to pause a test and figure out how to uh, uh, debug on the live system. So for example, in my, in our company here, in the place work, plugs where I work, we have tools, something which does some similar thing, like when a test case fails, we pause it and then uh, debug it from there. Uh, I thought uh, enhancing Bobius also to do the same. Oh, I see. That that makes a lot of sense. So uh, we have a, a question here from um, Michael Patrick, uh, who asks: uh, Is there any way to pause before the test runs? Uh, for example, if vSwitchD crashes during the test run. Uh, uh, what I would do is uh, like uh, say you can go to test suite uh, where, you, where where the script is written. You can write some random command like uh, at check uh, like break here something like that. And uh, test framework would not know how to run the break here syntax, and it would stop there itself. And then you can go step by step from there, uh, uh, whatever you want to debug from there. That makes sense. Even before uh, OS switch D, also you can break it up. Yep. Sorry. That makes sense. So uh, does your does your uh, d does your code provide a, a way to just sort of in introduce arbitrary? Uh, um, uh, breakpoints uh, into the uh, test execution. I, I can see that would be useful. No, there is no breakpoint. Uh, as I said, you can go to the 8.80 file and where the test script is there, and you can introduce your own uh, ran bogus keywords in, in as part of 80 check. Um, as, uh, oh, I, I, I see. You're, you're saying just just induce a, a, a sort of a a false failure uh, and uh, and make the mechanism uh, a, a kick in. Correct. That 
That makes sense. Um, I, I was thinking uh, another way to do it would be to have an M4 uh, uh, macro or, or shell function that you could just uh, invoke at the breakpoint you wanted, but inducing a failure makes sense too. Okay, uh, so uh, we, we have a, a question from Flavio uh, whether uh, this this would uh, also apply uh, to uh, to OVN. Uh, have you thought about that? Uh, I think OVN also is the same framework. The changes for this thing is uh, this um, OVS postures. I think it's in the OVS macros.at. I think mm -hmm. OVN also is the same. Uh, yeah, that, that's true. File. I think it should be applied, applicable there as well. Okay, uh, great. So uh, thank you uh, very much uh, for implementing the feature. And